Today is Wednesday, September 13, 2023. It's about 6.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I received this word from the Lord about an hour ago. I do encourage you, as always, not to take my word for it. Always test the Spirit. Always take this word back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time or when you're meditating on the word of God and ask him to confirm or deny what you heard today. The Lord wants me to start this word by reading from Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 7 to 8. Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 7 to 8. I'm going to re read from the English Standard Version. If at any time I declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will pluck up and break down and destroy it, and if that nation concerning which I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent of the disaster that I intended to do to it. This is what the Lord said. O oh, greedy, godless nation, though I have tried to warn you of the wrath to come, though I have sounded the alarm many, many times telling you to repent, you have shut your ears to me. Now I will make the distinction between those who serve me and those who do not, those who obey my commands and those who put them behind your backs. You laugh at my word, you blaspheme my name, mock my only begotten son, scoff at the judgment saying this shall never happen but it will come to pass not a word i have spoken will fall to the ground your land is covered with idols you bow down to the gods of other nations that are no gods at all gods with no life or breath in them gods that would blow over if i sent a strong wind foolish nation in an attempt to become wise you have become fools only a fool says there is no God. My kindness is meant to draw you to repentance. A broken spirit and a contrite heart I will not despise. If my people would call on my name, humble themselves, and turn from their wicked ways, I would hear from heaven and I would heal your land. But you remain stubborn like an ox refusing to pull a plow. You claim to be mine, but you are of your father, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning. You parade and rally in the streets demanding your rights to shed innocent blood, offering millions of babies to Moloch. Your rights are nothing more than modern day child sacrifice. I say who lives and who dies, not you. Who made you God? Were you there when I laid the foundations of the earth? Where does the light go when it becomes night? Tell me if you know. I use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. I told you not to think too highly of yourselves. It is written, I oppose the proud and exalt the humble. Such a proud nation you have become. What do you have that I haven't given you? And what will you do when I take it away? Such a fruitful and abundant land you once were, when under my protective hand, I gave your enemies into your hands. Everything you put your hands to prospered. Will you defy me and live? You will not. The wages of sin is death, and I have come to collect America. The loss of life in this nation will be devastating. I will topple this economy in a moment. You are under the watchful eye of some equally greedy nations who intend to plunder all of your abundant resources. Cities will go up in smoke. Homes will be ransacked. A new government will be established, and the freedom you once had will be non-existent. If you will not repent, you will perish. You will die of starvation. You will be carried away as slaves to a foreign and distant land. You will die by the sword and of pestilence and disease. I have been extremely patient with you, pleading with you to turn from your wicked ways. But you have repeatedly scoffed at and mocked my prophets. There is no fear of me before your eyes, but I am not mocked. 
Those who sow destruction will reap it in full measure. The measuring line has been drawn, America, and you have been found wanting. Your days are numbered. You will fall with a mighty crash. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. And because I am also to test every spirit, the Lord also wants me to share with you the confirmations that he brought me to. And they were one after another rather quickly within the span of maybe we'll say half an hour. He took me to Numbers chapter 11 verse 23. And it says, And the Lord said to Moses, Is the Lord's hand shortened? Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. Then he brought me to Numbers 11.33. While the meat was yet between their teeth before it was consumed, the anger of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord struck down the people with a very great plague. Judges 6 verses 8 to 9. The Lord sent a prophet to the people of Israel, and he said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I let you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of slavery. And I delivered you from the hands of the Egyptians and from the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land. Second Kings 5.15, just confirming that he is the one who gives life and takes it away. He brought me to this one sentence that said, am I God to kill and make alive? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 47 all the way through 52 because you did not serve the lord your god with joyfulness and gladness of heart because of the abundance of all things therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the lord will send against you in hunger and thirst in nakedness and lacking everything and he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you the Lord will bring a nation against you from far away from the end of the earth, swooping down like the eagle, a nation whose language you do not understand, a hard-faced nation who shall not show respect to the old or show mercy to the young. It shall eat the offspring of your cattle and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed. It, shall, it also shall not leave you grain, wine, or oil. The increase of your herds or the young of your flock until they have caused you to perish. They shall besiege you in all your towns until your high and fortified walls in which you trusted come down throughout all your land. And they shall besiege you in all your towns throughout all your land which the Lord your God has given you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 64 to 66 and the lord will scatter you among the peoples from one end of the earth to the other and there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone which neither you nor your fathers have known and among these nations you shall find no respite and there shall be no resting place for the sole of your foot but the lord will give you there a trembling heart and failing eyes in a languishing soul your life shall hang in doubt before you night and day you shall be in dread and have no assurance of your life and he finished off with this last confirmation in jeremiah chapter 21 verse 14 i will punish you according to the fruit of your deeds declares the lord i will kindle a fire in her forest and it shall devour all that is around her.